We did everything together. I was the oldest, my sister's in the middle, and my brother was younger. I'm 18 months older than my sister, and my sister's about 18, 19 months older than my brother, a couple of years older than my brother. So we were all close in age, and this is where we used to uh, spend the time. My mother ran this clubhouse here. There's a swimming pool back here. She, her summer job was running the swimming pool. Oh, wow. So you can imagine. Mm -hmm. We had a ba built-in babysitter. Come down and run the swimming pool. Swim uh, all day, that's why. Yeah. Swim, and uh, this, we played softball out here. Uh, there's, the, there's the basketball course, which used to be the tennis course. The swing set were always set down in the back. But this little clubhouse here was where we had a little jukebox and all the James Brown records and stuff. And we'd come in here and dance and have a good time. And, uh, you know, of course, it didn't look like this back then, but this was our, uh, this was a park. And you can imagine, see, we couldn't go across town to that park. Yeah. So we'd come here, and as long as you had some place to go, kids could be supervised. Yeah. And kind of play and grow up in, a, in a, what you call a non-threatening environment. Yep. And this, and this is what this was all about. But, yeah, my family was, we were fairly close-knit, but, see, my mother and father were divorced when I was four, so I was the oldest kid in the family. By the age of nine, my mother said, hey, you got to gotta grow up pretty quick because I need you to keep an eye on your brother and your sister. Mm -hmm. So childhood was something they had. Yeah. I didn't have one. Yes, <laughs> it was always strictly business with me.